Okay, so this is the FLIR E5 thermal camera. Um, I'm using this in a plumbing application where I'm trying to locate a circ line and install a circuit setter. So what I've done is I've heated up my lines and you can see in the wall that's um, a layer of sheetrock in the wall. There's my main feed. And it's really neat actually you can see the uh, my line through the gyp -crete concrete floor all the way over and where it runs to its main going down to the next level so it's actually going through the floor <clears throat> now one of the things I did to help this was I actually turned my water heaters up to 165 degrees so that I'm really hot coming out of the, the water heaters and I get the best weed because obviously this thing searches the heat and that's found that's really helped um, and I was able actually seven floors up to get it to um, 162 so anyways really neat tool it's come in handy it's worked very well the downside is that you have to really know what you're looking for. Because sometimes the water heater will heat up a stud. So you can actually see my water line that runs on this hall, the circ line here. So that red is my circ line. And it continues this side. So you can see it over here. Uh, you can see where I drilled that hole. The lights will mess with it, as you can see. It's been a good tool. Um, it's kind of rebooted a couple times and frozen a couple times, but it's done really well. Uh, but you can see it's just it's picking up that circ line. And this circ line is through two layers of sheetrock and uh, behind insulation. So it's about it's about five to nine inches behind the uh, the ceiling. But it's done really well. Um, I like the fact it's got the thermometer on it. So you can see that circle line's running at 130 degrees. But this is the FLIR E5. Real nice. You can take pictures. You can change the um, menu to where it reads... Say you want to do thermal bleeding, which is neat. So you can see a picture of the actual hall, and then you can adjust how much you want the uh, thermo to read, so that you know you just kind of help yourself find where you're looking at. Um, but the most effective that I've found is uh, just the generic all thermal mode. That works the great, the greatest for me. All right, thanks. Hope you enjoy.